suppose you throw a dice with numbers 1 to 6 written on it. The outcome you'll get is completely unpredictable. If you note the outcome every time you throw the dice, that series will be a random series and those numbers would be random numbers. Let's take another example. Suppose in a bag there are 100 sheets of paper with numbers 1 to 100 written on it. If you mix the sheets and take out one of those sheets and write down that number every time you open a jet, that series of numbers would also be a series of random numbers. So randomness is completely based on unpredictability. There must not be any pattern in a random number series. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. These numbers are not random at all because these are all consecutive even numbers. But what about this series? There is no apparent pattern in the series. The series isn't even monotonically increasing or decreasing. Some numbers don't appear in the series, for example 3, while others appear thrice consecutively, for example 7. So this is a random number series. But a question arises here. Is every random looking series actually random? Because if you are familiar with the series and sequence problem sums where you have to find the next number in a series, you would know that sometimes the series looks very random but there is a pattern. Let's take the example of this series. It might look random at first but it is not. The difference between first two numbers is 2. The difference between second and third number is 4. Between third and fourth number it is 6 and for the next pair it is 8. So next number will be 10 more than 23 which is 33. As we could predict the outcome, we can't really consider this series to be truly random. Now what is meant by truly random numbers? Random numbers are divided into two categories, truly random numbers and pseudo random numbers. The examples of dice and the chits both were examples of truly random numbers as there was no correlation of the previous number with its successor. But a series of random numbers which looks random but its numbers do depend on the previous number is known as pseudo random number series. Linear Congruential Generator LCG is the most common and oldest algorithm for generating pseudo random numbers. So this is the formula of LCG method. Here A is the multiplier, C is the increment and M is the modulus. So let's say we consider a is equals to 2, c is equals to 3, m is equals to 10 and let's suppose the c to be equal to 5 which is x0 right. Now to find x1 let's put all the values in the formula. Now 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13 and we have to divide 13 by 10 and we have to see the remainder. So when we divide 13 by 10 we get the remainder of 3 so that's our x1 right in similar way let's find the x2 now this value of x1 which is 3 will serve as our seed right now x2 is equals to 2 into 3 plus 3 divided by 10 3 times 2 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 now 9 isn't divisible by 10 but 10 zeros are 0 so 9 itself is the remainder here So x2 is 9, right? In similar way, we can find the rest of the numbers in a repetitive manner. But there is a problem here. After a particular cycle, the numbers will repeat themselves. The number of terms after which the random numbers start repeating themselves is known as the period of that series. In our case, the period of our series is 4 because after 4 terms, 5, 3, 9, 1, the numbers repeat themselves, 5, 3, 9, 1, 5, 3, 9, 1, right? The advantage with this method is that if we know the parameters A, C, M and the seed, we can reproduce the whole series, right? That's the biggest advantage. And further, if we choose the good parameters A, C, M and the seed, the period can be very, very large.
If you found the video to be useful for you, please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.